Hey there, we're back. It's been a while. So, uh, I'm about to go on another hiking camping trip. It's a, it's a bit of a, a less extreme one than the last few times. It's just going to be one day's bit of walking, one night in a tent, and then a morning of walking. Uh, and it's it's not just me this time. It's going to be uh, four of us in all. One uh, One guy who's never done anything like this before, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets along with it. And we're going back to the Mouth of Way, which was pretty much one of the first videos I put out, I think, on this channel. Uh, and it's almost exactly a year, I think, at the time of filming. I don't know when the video's coming out, but at the time of filming this, uh, last week was the one-year anniversary of doing the Mouth of Way, so it'll be nice. I'm going to get all nostalgic. So, it's currently about one o'clock. We're leaving at two. We're going to plan to sort of head up and get to the campsite by about half five, six-ish set up, have some food, and then head off in the morning and probably be in Penmine Pool, which is where we'll have parked by about 12, 1 o'clock. Sort of depends on what time we set off in the morning. But uh, we shall see. So I'll see you down there. Uh, it's getting closer, Marcus. <laughs> Does it fill you with excitement? That's the face of excitement. You pumped, Mark? I'm a professional. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Lovely. Look left, there's a little spinny well, road icon. Can you vlog me? Yeah, from Welcome. what move? Proof. Phone, wallet, keys. I've got everything. No wallet. Except for Andy. I'm with... Um, and you didn't bring the map, did <laughs> This is my sponsor, a pensioner, who we're bringing along. <laughs> right, you're going to lick it there. Off we go. You can make it, Marcus. We we'll leave. Squat. Right, so it was right here, Lou. Yeah. This is where I was desperate enough to filter this water because I was no. so dehydrated on my first day. Did you actually? Admittedly, it didn't look that gross when I did it. And it it was fine, but like it was desperate times. I was so miserable and thirsty. I just went for it. <laughs> so that is some uh, interesting nostalgia. I never recorded it, but I was feeling miserable towards the end of that first day. Sorry. Yeah, I just planned it poorly. Ah, oh, I remember these woods so well. <laughs> At this point, I was very tired, dehydrated, and not very happy. Is that much how you're feeling, Marcus? Is it going um, well? Um, Thoughts so far? It's a bit climby, isn't it? It is a bit climby, you are right. Wise words. Right. So this is nostalgia. That's the exact spot I camped at the end of day one. Weird. You guys camped just across, so we're... Uh, of the same mind. Right. A bit further to go. You can see the whole estuary from up here. And there, just down there, you can just about see the bridge where we walked across the start. Man, I remember on the second day stopping here to film that as the sun was coming up. Oh, it's surprisingly nostalgic. It was only a year ago, but there we are. I don't think we've got too far to go now. It's, what is it? We've done three and a half kilometers. It's four o'clock. So I'll probably be finished four, well, five, six ish. Be nice. As long as those dark clouds don't come our way. Which they will now, I've said that. Hey ho. Oh, there's Cadre over there. Just wherever you look, something cool. All right, see you later. So that's where we'll be going tomorrow. We think we found our spot. That's where I'm going to be. Here come the Muppets. Run! Go on, you can bam him. Oh, Mart's done you. Absolutely done you. Hey, hey! Doesn't he run like someone possessed? <laughs> he runs like a nutter. All right, so this is going to be our home for the night. Cadder over there. Mart's final resting place. <laughs> and just over there is the estuary. How was that for you, Mart? 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, you did, you did. And uh, oh, it's right next to a, a mine shaft, uh, which one of us can stumble into in the night. That'll be fun. None of the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> How did it take you so long to get here with all this running? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, oh, and the trig point's just over there for anyone that cares. I claimed my spot. You've claimed your spot, I've claimed mine. I'm yeah, just I over there. <laughs> sorry? Oh, sorry mate, it's going up. Alright, back in a bit when we set everything up. I'm 41 year old. <laughs> 41? I've got COVID lungs. I will. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are all set up. This is where we are going to be, excuse me, sniffly, staying the night. The other guys are all spaced apart. Mart's heading off somewhere far away so we can't hear him snore. Yeah, so it's uh, always a good feeling when the tent's all set up, everything's done. Make myself a cup of coffee now, I think, and uh, yeah, think about making some dinner in a bit. Uh, what I like about this place. Basically, anywhere you look, there's there's a nice view. Right over there, we've got Cadda. Right, just over that rise, you can see the entire estuary. And then, I mean, over there, the woods will be going into those Sparrow, and then coming all the way back down, and then into Dolgetli, and then just back down along the path. And just over there, you can't quite see it over the hill. There's the George. So that's a trip for tomorrow. All right, let's go see what these other guys are doing with their tents. Okay, so Lewis is very eager. Firstly, look, he's the outdoors wizard in his cloak. I am full of Yes. And this is his tent. A bivvy tent. So he wants to show us this... There's a bivvy bag. Very, a bivvy bag, bivvy tent. Hooped bivvy. Censored bivvy. Uh huh. We have rucksack liner with rucksack in. Excellent. We have outer layer, the bug net layer for stargazing. Of course, of course. And then in there, we have sleeping bags, sleeping uh -huh, as uh -huh. you can see, plenty of room for uh -huh, gear. Uh -huh. It's quite tight getting in. A little bit. I won't do you, lie. Want, do you want to get in and show us how snug it is? Yeah. Alright, show us how elegantly one You're gets... Hold this, okay, sure. Show us how elegantly one gets in there. There is a technique. Uh huh. Shoes off. And step in. It's sort of the opposite of giving birth to yourself. <laughs> That's not something I expected to hear on this trip. <laughs> and in he goes. Wow. I'm sure I speak for all the viewers at home when I say that was elegant and it looks very comfortable. It's it's so warm in here. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> I mean there's loads of space. Yeah. Well, for a bivy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But there is a nap, a nap to it. Lovely. Are you pleased with it? Sorry about the snot. That's alright, I'm snotty too. Dead quick to put that. Yeah, I hope so. Almost nothing to put up. I know. That's what it looks like with a minute. But I'll let you know in the morning. Yeah, we will we'll report back and see how it goes. Tell my minute. minute. All right, I'll go pass it on now. There's Marcus's tent. He's going to have the best view of all when he wakes up in the morning. Let's go see how Martin's doing. You look cold. I am cold, yeah. Even in the Quite the view. <laughs> nippy though. Well, the wind's nippy anyway. We've all eaten. Good day, Lou. That is beautiful. Isn't it? it is. Oh, you can, like, I don't know if it comes across on camera. It was like mist rolling down those hills. Good first day, Marcus. Yeah. Good. wave at it.
good morning. It's about, uh, I don't know what time it is. Well, 10 to 7. And uh, started getting up and about, got dressed. About to make myself a coffee and some breakfast, but we just got to, got the sun breaking over those clouds there. Rather lovely. It's a very nice spot. There's cat just over there. Lewis knows some people who are camping there right now, actually. So you can see over there. Well, you see they've got cloud now, but you can see rain and snow was over there last night. We were dodging, thankfully. Now the rest of the campsite remains quiet. Don't know if anyone else is up yet. We'll uh, find that out at some point. But for now, just get the morning routine done and get ready to pack up and go. Yeah, not a bad night's sleep. It's uh. It's nice at this time of the morning, everything's very still, quiet. It's cold, but it's not uh not freezing, it's quite it's quite nice. I'm looking forward to my coffee. Right. Let's get on with it then. Up a coffee and watch the uh, sun come out over the estuary. Little birds flying around. This is where we are. There's the sun coming up. There's my coffee there on the post. There's trigonometry point just over there. There we go. There's Cadder. Still in the mists up there. Not normally an early to rise person, but I do quite like doing it in camping. This sort of time in the morning, everything's still. You see the birds. That's very nice. Although, a tad bit nippy. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my coffee and then start getting stuff ready for breakfast. Good morning, everyone. Paul Messner here. No, they're not, are they? No. Just boiling some water for coffee because I'm frozen. Yeah, this stage. This is this stage's last outing because this is terrible. We've got a beautiful view, which makes it all worth it. I would give it a solid 8. It was very warm. We had a slight bit of condensation, but that was to be expected in the small space. There's plenty of room for all my stuff in there, I could watch a film in there. It's just very simple and close to nature, which is what we wanted. It's lovely. Anyway, over and out. Okay, so it's just coming up to 9 o'clock. Everything's packed up, ready to go. I don't know if you probably can't see, but Lou's just picking, packing up his bivvy. Marcus is probably not doing his tent. <laughs> he didn't know how to set it up, so who knows if he can take it down. I know, had my breakfast, had a coffee. Ready to go now, heading off. And there to Dog Deathfly. Probably have something to eat there, or if we. If we make good time, we might wait till we get back to the George, George III pub. We'll see how we go. We shall see. Right then, onwards. Back on the trail. Lewis just made us take a shortcut across a bog, which was wonderful fun. We're back on it now. Onwards. Getting a shifty on now, aren't we, Lou? About 10 o'clock. So arty. Yeah. <laughs> Real 
art house stuff. <laughs> wow. He is raised we've always, said, by we've always said he's artistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what they say, Marcus. Oh, not, uh, sound like it. Aftermath of the breakfast. Yeah, we didn't stand a chance. Best part of camping, that. Best part of camping is stopping. <laughs> yeah. Home. yeah, when it's all over. Yeah. Then you get home and you have to clean everything. Mm -hmm. I just chopped my tent over the banister and I'm done. <laughs> get, the, get the glass. There we are, really on the final stretch. A kilometre or two to go. There we are, we're just going to Penmine Pool. Nearly done. Nice breakfast. Meet up with uh, Lewis's mum and dad at the uh, George III pub. Ah, oh, it's been a good trip. Weather's nice today. A bit chilly in the morning, but nice and sunny, not bad at all. <laughs> it's the end of the journey. You'll say something profound, Lou. I will say I've been enlightened. I, I, you learn many things. By the majesty of the mountains. Well said. Marcus, any words? It was cold and miserable a lot of the time, and the company was average. Uh huh. Well, uh, yes. would you do it again? With different people, yeah. Sounds good. I thought you were going to say I something. I put his tent up. You did. I put his tent down. Uh huh. We you cooked his team. dinner. <laughs> and I that's what we get. Uh huh. It was a team effort. Team Shocker. effort by me and Reese. Uh huh. One team, boys, one team. There's no Marcus in team either. <laughs> There's no I in team either. Well, there you go. I guess that's the end of the journey. Ending on Until a happy next note. Time. Until next time. Until next time. like a old lady <laughs> or married couple. See ya. Hello everyone. So this is post end of journey Reese. I'm uh, in the process of editing the video at the moment, and I just thought some people might like to have a look at the uh, the map of the route that we took. Since uh, last time I put out a video, someone told me it needed more maps in it. So for that person, here you go. So you can see day one, we started out in a little place called Penmine Pool by uh, George the Third Pub. That's where the car park was. Made our way across the bridge to a little village that I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of and then from there you're sort of going up into the hills through some woods uh, by quite close to a path called the New Precipice Walk uh, the Mauluk Way and the New Precipice Walk for this part of the journey it sort of crisscross every now and then sort of intersect and run quite close by to each other although you're not actually on the uh, New Precipice for a lot of it you can see where we camped for the night that's our spot you'll have seen that in the drone footage and then the next day, you can see we head on down, again, not too far from this the new precipice walk. I think some of the woods we go through and some of the trails are sort of nearby, but we do take a detour, and again, we're never quite on, on the same path. And then head on down. We did take a bit of a shortcut out of the Mouthwick Way because all of us were a bit hungry and fancied our breakfast sooner rather than later. And then, yep, shot down into Dolgethlai, and then back along the cycle path of the Mouthwick Trail, I think it's called, back to Penmine Pool. And so yeah, that, uh, for those of you that are interested, that was the journey. It was about 11, 12 miles in all. I think about 6 or 7 kilometres the first day, 11, 12 the next day. And uh, yeah, it was really good fun. So thank you very much for uh, watching. I'll see you in the next one.